Hello everyone, and welcome once again to the month of Fright. Today's entry is Don't Starve, Shipwrecked. How's it going, do mods? I had wondered what I should do next, and a friend of mine actually suggested Don't Starve. I knew about Don't Starve before she brought it up, but I hadn't thought to actually play it. Well, until now. I think I took a peek at it before, but I haven't really played it in a serious capacity before. Never too late to start, though, right? I even have the Shipwrecked Edition. Available now. More info. Those look like plushy dolls. Oh, well. Focus. Choose a slot. Literally any of them. Character. Gentleman scientist. I will conquer it all with the power of my mind. Grows a magnificent beard. The unknown. The unknown. So, literally, there's nobody else I can play as but him. Since he's an inventor and he's got a beard, I think I'm gonna call him the engineer. Let's face it. What the hell's this? R of G S W. What does that even mean? I have no idea what that means. World sites default. Cave entrance? There's a lot of stuff to this game, isn't there? It's almost like Minecraft. Oh well, we'll just leave it default for now. And let's start. Would you like to make this world compatible with Shipwrecked? This will add new mechanics to your world, like wetness and overheating. Only Shipwrecked compatible mods will serve, will function in this save slot. Fair enough. Go right ahead. If we're gonna do this, we may as well go all the way, right? Generating world, wrangling monsters, iterating upon a keen sense of despair, hurting game theory, insinuating, insinuating pines, <laughs> buckets and buckets of loot, and bigoting spiders. It's, this is basically the sim style of nonsense that it puts there to make it sound like it's doing something. So you don't realize what it's actually doing, which is, you know, generating objects all across the world. That's what it's really doing, but it's got to fluff it up. So how's everybody doing? You guys doing good? Ready for a survival experience? Quote, unquote. One thing I do remember about this game is that you have a hunger meter, and you have to have a light source by the time it hits night, otherwise you'll die. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You'd better find something to eat before night comes. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't be good to be out at night. Oh, look, it's a butterfly. Let's eat it. Butterfly flutter by. Okay. Pick sapling. Oh, look, it's a bird. The bird flew off. Huh. Thanks for the seeds, I guess. That's good to hear, do, do mods. That's a beehive. Probably don't want to mess with that. Grabbing one bee. Oh, okay. Oh, that's lovely. You mess with one bee from the hive, and then the other ones come and attack you. Or, I have no idea. I mean, that one bee probably is trying to kill me now, but... What's one bee gonna do? You don't want to mess with a hive of bees. That's just not good. It's all piney. Okay. Let's go and grab saplings. Probably gonna need a wood source. Well, kindling, I mean. For a fire. That's definitely one thing that you need right off the bat in this game. Like I said, I don't know much about the game, but I do know that. Pick up rocks. Why do those look like bird eggs? It's sleeping? No, I want you to grab the mushroom. Or not, I guess. Ooh, flint. Now we're talking. Now I could possibly survive. If you hit the flint against the stone, you make fire. Or at least you make sparks. And combine it with these twigs, it might just start a fire. Excellent. It's all piney. That's great. Now how do I do anything with this? I mean, I suppose I could just set trees on fire. But I wouldn't even know what to do with that. Show map. Huh. That's interesting. Ooh. 
You can even rotate the world. That's nice. It's getting late. It will be dark soon. Crud. Well, that's not good. How do I... How do I combine things? Attack. Inspect. Do action. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Hmm. Gold nugget. A headstone? I mean, gold is nice, but... Not gonna do me much good if I die. How do you combine things? I have no idea. Is it even possible to combine things? Okay, and then maybe use the flint on that? Or not? Crud. How do I... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So, I'm probably gonna die. Right off the bat. Hmm. There's gotta be something... There's gotta be a way to do this. Oh, great, it's raining, too. If there was a way to make fire that's not there anymore. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I wonder if it was changed so that you don't immediately die. Thanks for the seeds, birds. I'm sure that'll that'll keep them full for a little bit. I should probably figure out how to combine things, though. If that even can be combined. It is raining up a storm, isn't it? Wait, is that thirst? Huh. Ah, oh, wetness, I think. It's going up, not down. He might just die of hypothermia before any monsters have a chance to kill him. Mini glacier. A very isolated glacier. Peculiar. It wouldn't fit in my pocket. Very funny, man. Very funny. Hmm. Let's see. Combined stack. Okay. Neat. Did I just hear a bell? Like the kind you'd find on a ship? Because now that's caught my interest. Hmm. What if I use flint against the rock? Nope, that doesn't work. Don't know what I was thinking. Hold on. Is there anything else that you can do? Do action, zoom out, rotate, open crafting. Dang. Oops. Chop down tree. Awesome. Okay, what I need is... Hair? No, that, that can't be right. Oh, uh, you gotta, gotta chop down trees, I guess. Awesome. Oh, crap. It's getting really dark. I learned how to do this just in time. No, not just in time. Too late. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. I'm gonna die. Yep. I mean, I learned what to do, but... Wasn't fast enough. I just wasn't fast enough, man. I guess them's the brakes, huh? That's why it's a survival game. In some ways, it's kind of like a, a roguelike, too. I think that's the best way you can describe this game. It's like a roguelike survival game. A roguelike survival open world game, more or less. 
Thanks. Let's see. Wait a minute. Grass. I think that's what it... I think that's what it meant. That's not hair. Okay. Now maybe I'll survive the night this time. Wouldn't that be lovely? Huh? Uh, freaking bees. Okay. I forgot. How do I make an axe again? You need a twig and... What the hell? Okay, I can make the game window bigger and smaller. That's nice. I need flint. Luckily, I've got lots of flint. Excellent! We're figuring this out. Little bit at a time. Don't even worry about it. Alright, let's build a build an axe. And chop some stuff. Maybe I can cut the bees, too. I mean, at least I have a weapon that I can use to kill things with, potentially. Take that, nature. Ever play Eons of Death Doom 2 mod? I don't remember. I played so many Doom mods, it's been a while, that I, I, I don't remember. I know the latest one I tried is Plants vs. Zombies TC. And that'll be going up eventually, but aside from that... I might have, I, don't, I just don't remember. It sounds familiar, but, you know... It might have been one of those things that I intended to do, but I just never got around to it, you know? If that makes any sense. Well, at least I am in a position. There we go. Okay, that was not a good idea. Those bees are angry. You know, you'd think the bees wouldn't wouldn't bother you wouldn't bother unless you're going after their nest or something. But apparently not these ones. Take this. Okay, I got one of them. Of course, I pissed off every bee within a two-mile radius, but you know. I got one of them. That's what counts, right? Oh, jeez. That is just stupid. Yeah, you read the most stupid crap sometimes. But that's beside the point. What do we have here? Okay, I have enough to make a fire. I should probably make a fire pit. You know, so it doesn't burn everything to the ground. Okay, I need rocks. Oh, it comes with enemies of TF2 and Left 4 Dead. Then, probably not. I think I would have remembered that. Maybe I should do it eventually. Keyword, eventually. Then again, I do have some space for it, so... Obviously, during the month of November. Not this month. This month's a little full. But I can do it. I love the way this looks, though. Oh, someday, Aeons of Death is pretty fun. Oh, you've played it? That's cool. You gotta love the way the water works with this. No matter what, the water is in the same orientation. So, it'll actually quickly switch place. It'll quickly switch into position. I wanna try to find some freaking stones before the, the sun completely goes out. Attack! Hey, get back here! That must lead to the kingdom of the bunnymen. Oh, you got nowhere to run this time. Come back here, you stupid wabbit. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Actually, no, wait, this area is very grassy. I'm pretty sure a fire will spread fast. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I should make a pickaxe. Okay, there we go. I want to make. I want to get some stones first. I can make a fire right now with what I've got, but 
If I do, it's going to be an untamed fire. Not to mention it might go out faster, too. What the hell is that? Probably something I don't want to mess with, huh? That thing looks like it could kill me with a with a thought, you know? Yeah, it's getting really dark. Might want to just hunker down. Don't want to die again, you know? Alright, let's just start a fire. Just right here. Or I can make a portable light source, but nah. Make it build a campfire. There we go. There. Now at least I'm a little bit protected. From death. Not today, death, not today. You'll have to give it. You'll have to wait until later. Mmm. Hope that doesn't cause food poisoning. Well, you just right-click it. Fair enough. Probably a lot easier than dragging it, you know? Examine. I can hear a tiny tree inside it trying to get out. It's big, it's heavy, and it's wood. Well, that's lovely. Cut grass. Cut grass. Ready for arts and crafts. Fuel it up, man. There we go. That's a big old fire right there. Hmm. Can I cook? Ooh, I can. You can cook. You can roast some carrots over it. That probably actually sounds pretty good. Wait, no, 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 no. Had to say. Why would you want to eat it raw? Why not just eat it cooked? Cook it, man. Oh, you can add that to the fuel. Or you can eat the petals. Sure. This is probably the one time where it's appropriate for me to say I'm throwing babies into the fire. Technically, I'm throwing baby trees into the fire. I know, that was messed up. But hey, sometimes you gotta use dark humor to get through the day. Get through each day. After all, this guy's sanity, it's gonna go downhill fast. May as well use some dark humor, right? Just a little bit more of nightfall to go. And with that in mind, I should probably switch off to the axe. The axe seems like it would be better to defend himself with, you know? Bingo. Yeah. Excellent. I actually made it through the night this time. Isn't that nice? Thanks for the seeds, chump. Now let's see. Hmm. There's some stones up there. Let's chop down some trees while we're at it. I think if you do, if you go around mindlessly chopping trees long enough, some kind of spirit of the forest gets pissed off at you. I think that's what I heard. I don't remember though, it might be a different game. Apparently that happens in The Witcher though if you keep killing cows. But I think that might have been a thing with trees and don't starve. I'm trying to remember. What the? Evil flower? There's a bunch of evil flowers? Ring thing. Huh? A ring that could focus dimensional energies. Do I even want to know? I'm guessing if you eat dark petals, you'll definitely get sick. Or at least your sanity will drop like crazy. But you know what? Evil flowers? Oh, it's called a tree guard. Fair enough. That's what I thought. Also, how's it going, Ricky? Good to see you. I'm guessing evil flowers would not be very good to eat, but it might make perfect kindling. Evil, evil flowers. What better way to make an evil fire with? To evilly burn up the place. Ooh, flint. That's always nice. Considering this is only so long. Only so long this 
He's gonna hold out. Why did I jump in there? I did not mean to do that. That was not a sane thing to do. No, it was not. What the hell were you thinking? Okay. Ooh, science. Okay, science machine. Crap, I need gold. I had gold in a previous life. Grass suit pr provides a small amount of protection. Here lies some guy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my sanity is gonna go crazy. I think you need to invent stuff to get your sanity back up. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh well. Where the hell am I? I'm in the middle of nowhere. A pig house. These pigs have some pretty fancy houses. How's it going, Drago? Good to see you. I guess some people are interested in this. Red mushroom. Oh, hey, pig man. Don't worry about me. I'm not going to cause you any harm. Say, uh, could one of you guys provide some sanity for me? I'm kind of out of it. I'm doing good. Got the Hamlet DLC that came out four days ago. Oh, that's cool. I pretty much just had the ship wrecked. But I figured it was finally time for me to try out this game in a serious capacity. Oh crap, there's sp there are spiders. You don't want to mess with the spiders. They'll kill you. At least I'm pretty sure. Huh. You actually go far enough that you see above the clouds. That's fascinating. Or maybe this place is just very foggy. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, eating might just reduce my, might just increase my sanity, I mean. Okay, eat. Get your strength up, man. Yes, you don't want to mess with spoiders. The spoiders will get you, lad. Ooh, mine the stone, mine the stone. Mind you. Gold! Yes, thank you. Yeah, it will be getting dark soon. Crud. Didn't Hamlet come out around sometime this year? Well, Ricky did say it came out four days ago. Last October for it was... Yeah. Anywho. I'm gonna invent a science machine. For science! Will that increase my sanity? It breaks down objects into their scientific components. That's cool. Which means I can actually do stuff with it. Probably. Crap, I don't have enough stone still. It takes a lot of freaking stone, doesn't it? Okay, I guess I'll just make another uh, regular fire then. Yes, Team Science! In other words, Dr. Membrane. He's very science. What the hell is that? I don't... Okay, that's a spider, I think. Don't want to mess with that. Oh, crap. I just aggroed one unintentionally. Where's... Back to science. Back to warm, comforting science. So I can build a fire. A nice, comforting, warm fire with warm science. Ah, much better. Okay, let's cook some stuff. Nothing gets the sanity in order like some... Roasted carrots. Yes. I'll be just fine. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, let's just chop down a tree. Oh. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? I thought my axe broke for a second there. Oh, wait, no. I made a new one, apparently. Currently waiting for the mobile game of DS to come out. Signed up for beta test, but it seems like a closed beta. Uh, that's cool. Oh, crap. You don't want to stay out there for too long. I learned that immediately. Yeah, no kidding. A 
was trying to get you to add the pine cones to the fire, but apparently you don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Let's eat some petals. Berries, dark petals. No, no, don't do that. Don't eat it. Definitely don't eat it. Adding to the fire, that's fine, but eating it must be out of your damn mind. Basically to fix bugs. Oh, that's cool. It's a beta test. DS. Huh. Ah, okay. You meant don't starve. For some reason, I thought you meant like the Nintendo DS. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, great. He's going crazy. He's going crazy around here. This man has lost it. Someone, uh... Whack him. He probably needs it. That monster is waiting for me to slip. That's what I thought. Get out of here. Get out of here, you mook. Unfortunately, my sanity is going haywire. I can see into other dimensions. That's lovely. Now, how do I increase my sanity again? I thought it was by inventing stuff. But I don't think that's ringing up true anymore. Unlocking even more crafting recipes. There must be some way out of here. Divining rod. Nightmare fuel. Gears. Refine. Boards like logs, but flatter. Awesome. Let's prototype it. Sweet. That's cool, Ricky. That's cool. Walk to examine walrus camp. What? Looks like someone was camping here. Yeah, he's definitely going crazy. Oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. And I'm guessing conversely, picking up evil flowers takes away sanity. Making a garland also gives sanity. Thanks for the tips. I should probably just drop these. Oh, there's some flowers. Thanks for the tip. I was beginning to worry about them. For some reason, I thought inventing stuff increased your sanity. Like it was the one thing that gave him purpose or something. I mean, it made sense in my head. Maybe I'm the one who's actually going crazy. What the? That's weird. Ah, there we go. Hey, pig man. How's it going? Don't mind me. Well, at least the pigmen are like the zombie pigmen of Minecraft. Oh, tips? What? Not my quarters? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, just your pennies. Penny for your thoughts? Hello, pig man. Is that a frog? Die, frog! Crap, I can't attack it when it's behind the freaking tree. I will destroy you! Uh-oh, the frogs aren't very happy that I just killed one of them. I'd better get out of here. I just entered frog territory. If you make something new, it gives sanity, and you can make that anywhere, but remaking it doesn't give sanity. Ah. So it's when you first invent something. That makes sense. Because he becomes so proud of his little creation that it just... It brings sanity to him. It gives him purpose, essentially. Not only does it give you sanity, but you can eat the petals, too. Because eating flowers definitely isn't an insane thing to do. Really? Frogs, do you mean a frog leg baguette? Oh, I have... I guess I did, just didn't remember it. My bad. My bad. Ooh, green mushroom. Too bad I can't do anything with it. Hello, crow. How would you like to eat crow? No, not picking those up. I should probably go exploring. Yeah. 
Might be a good idea. Get more resources and stuff. Ooh, grass. Don't mind if I do. Gonna need a lot of grass. Oh, that's what that bell sound was. Because I had the ship wrecked. For some reason, I just assumed it had something to do, to do with an actual boat. But apparently not. That was alerting me that I could now make something. My bad. Fire pit, a safer, more efficient fire. Heh. <laughs> wow. I cut it in half. Yeah, you can definitely tell I'm sane, can't you? I'm cutting butterflies in half. That's what a sane person would do, right? <laughs> the hell? Did that tree just rot out? Okay, come on. Better better return back to camp. I'm, I've decided that this is now my camp because it has a science machine on it. I mean, flawless logic, right? Had to build camp somewhere. I need to find some stones or something. Ooh, pretty parasol. Posh and portable protection. That probably protects against the rain, I'm guessing. With science! Grass suit provides a small amount of protection. Maybe if I can find some... Okay, good. I can find some grass in the immediate area. That's good. Now I can give myself a little bit of protection. Can't imagine how grass would help protect me any more than what I'm wearing now, but whatever, it's game logic. We don't need to think about it too much, do we? Huh. I can prototype a shovel. That's nice. Wait, what the hell? Oh, crap. That was a bad idea. What was I thinking? That's gonna kill me. Oh, thank God. You only need two pieces of grass to make fire. Man, that was reckless of me. It almost got me killed. Or it probably could have got me killed. Oh, crap. It's a portable source of light. I better hurry. Crap. I guess I'll have to settle for a torch, won't I? And hope it lasts. Damn it. That was bad. This is very bad. Okay, well, as long as it holds out, I guess, I can just set the tree on fire. Yes, burn! Look how sane I am! <laughs> Nobody can attack me now. Not if I set everything on fire first. <laughs> oh, Charlie's gonna get you. I don't think so. You're not gonna get me. No, you're not. As long as I burn everything first. As long. I don't care. If you're in that mess of burning mess, then I'll be happy. <laughs> yes, yeah, set everything on fire. The fire will keep me warm and happy. You're so hungry. Well, eat a red cap. I don't care. I don't feel so good. Well, that it's, that's not my problem, man. Crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, at least it ran out just in time. Thank God for that. Right when he was saying what was that, that's usually when you were about to get attacked, from what I could tell. So, thank God, it just happened to switch to morning right then and there. That would have... That would have been the death of me, for sure. Hello, bees. Don't mind me. I'm not messing with you, so don't mess with me, huh? What the hell? Wait, 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 what's going on here? What the hell are those? 
I didn't even do anything. Oh, killer bees. No wonder. Freaking killer bees. I think she kills you if you get hit two times. Okay. Jeez. I didn't know killer bees were a thing here. That's good to know. And I'm aware of killer bees. They are much more aggressive than regular bees. You could turn on a lawnmower in their general vicinity and they will swarm, they will sick half their nest on you. And it looks like the ones here are about as friendly. Yeesh. Freaking killer bees, man. Killer bees. Wow, there's a lot of trees here. I'm guessing that if I start chopping them down, the sad tree has no cones. What? I was about to say, chop. The character warns you first that she is around. It's worse with Wes. Ah. I see. Well, thank God the morning came by right before I got attacked by whatever was there. And it's probably a good thing, too, that the fire didn't spread to the pig houses. They probably wouldn't have appreciated that very... Oh. Oh. Um. Never mind, then. Sorry, pig. Oh, great. I just destroyed their houses. Me thinks I probably shouldn't have done that. Oops. Oh, crap. Now the frogs are... The frogs are perpetually pissed off at me now. I don't think they've forgiven me for what went down. I think they might have a grudge. Is there a way to restore your health or does it just restore itself over time? I mean, I got a ring, but... He just wants to give hugs. Ah, Deer Clops is friendly. Fair enough. Even monkeys and shipwreck are evil. They steal and throw. Ah. Okay. Fair enough. I guess what I meant is docile. They're about as docile in the game as they are in real life. At least the regular bees, they tend to leave you alone unless you get right up to them. Or you start attacking them or something. Sorry, Pigo. They kind of creep me out. I guess I can't blame you there. They are kind of creepy, aren't they? Thanks for the protection from the elements, tree. Oh, okay. I don't know about deer clubs, but at least he doesn't throw, throw crap or steal. Oh, that's great. Did that tree just pop into existence? Sure. We'll go with that. Sticky. Yeah, you don't want to get on their web. That's just inviting an attack. Or so I would think. Okay, where's my camp? It's right there. Darn. Darn. I can't seem to find any stones around here. I may have to travel a bit farther. If I want to find any. The only thing that always matter hounds, beer clops. Is he the bro? Is he the bro that just wants to have a drink? Okay, at least I have enough to make a fire, so that's good. I didn't blow it all this time like an idiot. Now I just have to not go out very far. Wait, it's raining. I hope it stops raining before it gets too dark. That would be kind of stupid if... It could rain and get very dark. There we go. Oh, cold drinks aren't always enough, even sodas. Gotta love it when trees just pop into existence like that. Death in three. That's just rude. 
Pick up the flower. We need all the sanity we can get in this cruel world. It was cut down the prime of its life. Yeah, by you. Meat. Where'd the meat come from? Uh, I probably don't want to know. I get the feeling that was once a pigman who got caught in the fire. Magic. Okay. Amplify the magical power of your top hat. That's lovely. This fire is from opposite day. Endothermic fire. What? Do I even want to know what that is? You know what? Let's just build regular fire first. Okay, it's about to get nightfall. Because they can be the final countdown. Europe starts to play in the background. Unfortunately, the rain probably means it's going to go out faster. At least I got plenty of wood. Oh, shit. Why did I... Why is the science machine on fire? How do I put it out? Can I put... Oh, great. That's just great. I'm a freaking idiot. I just destroyed my science machine by accident. Shit. That's not good. That's not good at all. I won't be doing much science now. I shouldn't have had it so close. Damn it. How can stone burn in the urn? It finds a way. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I know. Well, it's a little too late to think about it now. At least I've got cooked meat, so that's something. That provides plenty of food. At least I'm not going to starve to death just yet. Probably. We need to find some gold if I'm going to get much farther. Implements the all survivor from Left for Dead, but not playable, just enemies. Alright then. Whatever you say, man. Alrighty then. Why is my vision getting hazy? Is it because my health is a little low? Because I wouldn't know how to restore that, unfortunately. I don't even know if I'm in a position to. Eh, yeah, screw it. Just chop it. Well, I guess there's one bright side to this. I don't have a base anymore. He did say it a couple of times. Oh, uh, okay. Why don't you want to starve? Life and don't starve isn't kind. Errors are bound to be made. Yeah, that's why I figured. I'm not saying I expect the game to take it easy on me. I'm just saying it's unfortunate. I'm aware. I'm pretty sure that this is a very... It's very much a roguelike game. What the hell was that? I don't want to know, do I? Oh, hey, Negative Neo. Oh, shit. Better run. At least the game helpfully identifies them with very different looking hives. You'll know that you just entered the vicinity of a really nasty nest. On the plus side, I don't have to go around them anymore. Because I don't even have a base anymore. Metal potato thing. Do I even want to know what that is? Somehow I get the feeling that's not what he thinks it is. This is how Minecraft couldn't look like. Tim Burton's Minecraft is more like it. Examine basic farm. I should try planting some crops. This looks like someone was here before. Hell, someone probably was here before. Hmm, nice. Very cool. Hello, birdie. I love how he does something and then he mourns it. Like he wasn't the one who just did that. Oh, okay, the pigs do have more health. Well, obviously they do. I'm just... 
I'm looking at it through the perspective of the character. He wouldn't know that there's more pigs. Especially more pig houses. Ah uh, yes, when you get unlucky it can get very bad, like you get attacked by an army of spiders or a pack of hounds or even traps. That's lovely. Or I'm guessing big hordes of monsters. Hello, pig man. I promise I won't burn your house to the ground. Probably. Oh, uh, you can't carry any more stuff. A turkey? Huh. Did not expect to find a turkey just randomly there. Hmm, that's good eating, though. That's some good eating right there. Is this golden ring actually going to be helpful, or should I just go ahead and toss it? Because, uh, part of me kind of wants to toss it. Because I'm not sure if it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. Although I could go into the wormhole and see where it goes. A uh, Berkey. Yeah. I mean, sure. Whatever works for you, buddy. Hello, pig man. So what's the metal potato thing? Have you ever played Castlevania Simon Quest Doom 2 mod? I actually have. It was pretty good. I mostly learned about it, I think, from... No, wait, not from AVGN. I think I actually played it before he did. Although it does make a reference to him, which is funny. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and... Oh, I can't. That's too bad. Ah, oh, man. Once again, I failed to find any stones. It's a piece to Maxwell Portal. Okay, so this is something I want, isn't it? As long as I know it's something I want. Something that isn't going to mess me over. Because knowing my luck, it, it would be just be a reference to Lord of the Rings, and it would just completely screw you if you tried to, you know, use it. Because I wouldn't put it past this game to have things here just for the purpose of screwing you. That seems like this kind of game. Give me all the grass. Give me all the grass. Chester. Now why would I have to worry about Chester when I've got fire? I'll just burn Chester to the freaking ground. I'll show him real hellfire. Chester better get away from me. I got lots of stuff. Okay, come on. Where's the X? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Chester is portable chest. Oh, okay. My bad. Seven trials to Maxwell, which all seven are tough. Very tough. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, maybe eventually I might want to do that. Take that, nature. I think my guy's a, l a bit of a psychopath, but then again, if you were in a world like this, I don't think you could avoid turning into a psychopath. It's like inevitable. It's pretty much a requirement around here. Page two. You must become a psychopath. No negotiation. Okay, let's make some fire. Bingo. All right, let's eat the drums. Let's uh, cook some drumsticks. Mmm, cooked food. That's a perfect thing to reduce to increase your sanity. I actually did play Manhunt too. You mean the first? Is the first one actually better somehow? I did not mean to do that, but whatever. It's big, it's heavy, and it's wood. Why do you think? It there has to be an easier way to add fuel rather than just drop it or whatever else. Ah, crap. Oh, great. That's ah, just lovely. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Looks like eye on a stick. Fascinating. Buddy. Mmm. Food. Now we're talking. 
I should probably make something to shave with. You know, eventually. Oh, hey, buddy! You want some... You want to start something? Why don't you come over here? Now, what dark creature is that? No doubt one that wants to kill me, but... I'd like to know specifics. Imagine Overweight Wilson. Wait, so do you only have Shipwreck? Actually, I think I have something else, but I didn't activate it. Nah. Oh, um, I guess his sanity is low enough that he's seeing things. I might, I should probably pick some more flowers, huh? It might also help to make another science machine if I can find some gold around here. Hello, wildebeest, I'm going to say? Looks like a wildebeest. Examine burrow. You know what? I've got a trap. Let's uh, go ahead and set the trap. There we go. Maybe I'll find a creature in there. Eventually. I think owning shipwreck allows you to have all three of them. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. I noticed there was something in the mod menu, but I didn't activate it. Oh, thank God. There's some gold. Good. I found some gold, guys. Don't worry. The science will resume. <laughs> the science will never die. As long as you believe in science. Go up, please. Uh, okay. Just hold on a second. I'm gonna... I'm trying to get some more rocks here. And I actually found a good source right here. Let's see, how much do you need again? Yeah, I thought you needed 12, but I wasn't quite sure. Okay. I found some gold. I found some flint. I even found a lot of rocks. If I could find... Okay, there we go. I found just enough for a fire pit. That's good. That's really good. I wonder if you can sustain a pit. Hamlet is a DLC on its own. The Mega Pack only gives you two DLC like Reign of Giants and Shipwreck. Ah, fair enough. I think I also had another DLC with it, but I don't remember what it was called. You said go up, right? Go up where? Where do you want me to go specifically, Drago? Keep going up from here? Huh, that fire, there's a fire still there. That's, uh, interesting. Didn't expect that. Okay, maybe you want me to go here? Uh-oh. I don't think that pigment's gonna do so good. I kill you now. I'd like to help you, but... Here, let me help you out. I want to be his ally. The pigs seem like the closest thing to... Oh, he's dead. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I... I guess they'll never know that I was an ally of the pig. There are only three DLC. Anything else or mods? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I wasn't able to save the pig. We must protect the pig. Hopefully his allies know that I at least tried to defend him. Probably not. The closest thing to friendly you can expect in this game is creatures that won't attack you on sight. It still has the tail on it. That's lovely. And I'm just going to go ahead and eat the carrots. Probably not the best idea, but whatever. That's what I'm going to do. And I need an empty slot. Okay, I'll follow the road. Oh, now to the left? Sorry, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. To the left down, or right where I am? Oh, there's water right here. So I'm guessing you don't mean left over here. Oh, there's a chest or something on the left from the swamp. My bad. My bad, I wasn't paying attention to the chat. I got a little distracted. Oh, shit. 
the hell is that thing? Crap, my, my connection's going out too. This is bad. This sad tree, it has no cones. That's too bad. Pick up eye bone. What the hell? I can't even carry it, unfortunately. Oh, there's Chester. Sorry about that. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, little guy. Good to see you. Aw, oh, that's, that's a cute little dog chest thing. Let's put that in there for now. It's not like I'm going to have any use for it. Anything that I'm going to have a use for later, but not quite right now, I should probably just stuff it in him, right? That's probably one of the things that is required for Maxwell. Good boy. There's a good boy. That's adorable. That's the cutest thing in this game so far. Thanks for thanks for the heads up, Drago. That's a cute little chest, doggo. I'm definitely going to base... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is bad. Oh, crap. Chop, chop, chop. Quick, like your life depends on it because it freaking does. Thank God. Now I don't have enough stones. What did I use the stones on? Planks give a lot of fuel but burn quicker. Okay. Well, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Things suddenly went from... Things suddenly got a lot of comp... Very complicated around here. Thank God. Okay. At least I will live to see another day. Probably. Just don't make it too big or the science machine will catch on fire and we don't want that. Hey, little buddy. Normally you get some things on more, but I think they set the max to default. Fair enough. Let's see. Once it starts wavering, I should probably do it then. Is there use for the ashes? All that's left after fire has done its job. Hmm. Hmm. I think of it. Is there anything else I can make? Okay, pretty parcel. Parasol. I can make a grass suit again, but uh, it's probably not a good idea. Hay wall. Not very sturdy. Refined boards. Tightly woven coils of usefulness. Cut stone, nicely square rocks. I can prototype it. Let's go for that. The first game, Manhunt, the plot is different about director is recording everything for the underground. Oh, uh, fair enough. All I know is that the second one is so much more violent than the first one that it almost got an AO rating. That's the only thing I know about it. It almost got an AO rating. They toned it down. Hey, little buddy. Good boy. Now, let's see. Where can I find some more stones? Probably south of here, because where there's sand, there tends to be rock. I'm probably going to have to do that. Yeah, I want a fire pit. Believe it or not, but for some reason... For some reason, by the time I got around to making one, I just didn't have enough. I'm not sure what I used it on. I might have used it making the axe, possibly? Then again, maybe not. Okay, that takes up flint, so what the hell did I do that took up stone? I have no freaking clue. Oh, of course, the science machine. Duh. So, for the sake of the science machine, I made something... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. These stupid-ass frogs. Damn, I'm going to hate these... I'm going to hate frogs by the time I'm done with this game, aren't I? Damn you, you stupid frog. Get the hell away from me. You bastard. I said, get away from me. 
Here we go. Why don't you get near the bees? I'm sure they'll love it. By sometimes, you mean apparently all the time. There. At least I found some rocks, so that's good. Stale petals. Okay. I mean, whatever it takes to prevent you from starving to death is probably good. I made them seductively smooth. I'm glad he made them seductively smooth. Not just normally smooth, seductively smooth. They're so smooth they could turn you on. He has been. He has been alone for far too long. He's starting to think that stones are sexy. Frog rain is the thing, sadly. That sounds scary. Not gonna lie, that sounds freaking terrifying. It's rain and frogs. Oh shit. Everybody run for your life. Okay then. I don't think you know, but there's a frog rain event. Okay. Yeah, someone mentioned it right before you did. And it still sounds freaking terrifying. Hello, Wabbit. I'll get you yet, Wabbit. It's rain and frogs. Oh shit, run for your life, it's frogs. Oh, if it's nightmare, if it's a nightmare if it rains frog. Oh, okay. So basically it's not real? Quote unquote. It's an illusion or something? Damn it. I just have barely not enough to make a fire pit with. I can just find some more find another rock. I'll be good. Isn't there a sanity related thing to frogs? Yeah, there might, there might be. I have no idea. I'm guessing you're asking Ricky. Like, frogs will break and attack every, anything. Everything. Well, then maybe it's a good thing for me to make some fast friends with the pigmen. Because at least the pigmen might just attack them, too. <laughs> if they attack everything, then that means they also attack the pigmen, which means the pigmen will fight back. Which means it would probably do me very good to make, to hang around them. I still find it funny how the closest thing to an to friendly in this game are pigs that basically just mind their own business. Stay away! <laughs> hey, sorry man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt you. No frogs aren't related to sanity, they're just evil. That's the damn truth. And that is the gospel truth. Where the hell are the rocks around here? I can't find anything. Rabbit's turn of the nightmare is also I don't suggest keeping pigmen around for too long. Why? What happens to the pigmen? Do they just... I probably don't want to go after that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I better just run. It's getting dark. The darkness. Also, rain will rain a lot of frogs. Not even a pigmen village will help. Ouch. That is very unfortunate to hear. I did not mean to do that, but whatever. I just made I just made something else capable of being made, so that's good, I guess. Come on. Forget about everything else, just get back to camp in one piece. Pawns. Lovely. Hey Chester, hey buddy. I take it back. The closest thing to good it would be Chester. Chester's a good boy. Good boy. I can always rely on Chester to not try and kill me. He's a good boy. Looks like an enemy from Earthbound. Yeah, it could be. This game's almost got a similar vibe. That's for damn sure. Pig skin. Still has the tail on it. Is there anything you can make with that? I mean, it's a little morbid, but... Hey, whatever works. Science away. Bzz. Hmm. Well, doodad. I've always wanted to make a doodad. 
It's whirring with electricity. Can't wait to see what that does. It might just help me survive. Tightly woven coils of usefulness. Papyrus for writing things. Magic. Magic. Chester be like numb. <laughs> Is he on Reign of Giants? Because Frog Reign might not be a problem. I'm not sure, actually. Don't make the fire too big. I think I may have put it too close to the science machine. Yeah, they kind of do. Endothermic fire. What does that even do? Does it fire externally? I don't get what that means. If you can craft endothermic fire, then you are. Oh, okay. So I am on that. I'm on Reign of Giants, aren't I? You better get the hell out of here. Oh, it cools you down during summer. Fair enough. That's interesting. I do know that wetness and overheating are said to be a thing here. So that's what that's for. Very cool. You bastards best back off unless you want some of this. Ah. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like Zelda. You know, blue fire. Mmm. Ah, oh, I'm starving. Freaking frogs. I probably shouldn't have made everything around here so close to the freaking frogs. I'm probably going to regret that. This is truly going to be a painful experience for you. Thanks. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be doing... I'm not sure how long it'll be before I actually do uh, Summer Itself is Evil because everything gets set on fire. Oh, that's great. Anyway. I'm not sure how long it'll be before I actually do more of this if I come b go back to it. This is mostly a one-off thing that I'm doing for the month of October. You know. I got a little theme going on where I do survival horror games, mostly. That's basically what all my Let's Plays are. I call it the Month of Fright. I better stay away from them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get away. Get away. Hey, I don't want nothing. I don't... I, 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 I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. Is it possible to pick up a science machine and move it elsewhere? Or are you pretty much just... Is it pretty much just stuck there? Damn things. Best survival horror game on Earth? Monday. Jesus. Ah, Jesus! Fuck. Ah, damn it all. I don't know why I went to the menu, but sure. This game is good, a lot of YouTubers would say, to make a playthrough of it. Yeah, I just got myself feckin' killed. Great. Well, I got the screecher that's disabled, but, you know. Damn it. Oh, it doesn't make it doesn't save. It 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 really is a roguelike, isn't it? Damn it. I actually did good in that one. At least I thought I did. Jackass birds. Huh. <sighs> okay. It's hardcore, yes. I'm guessing you don't mean a hardcore difficulty, it just is. It does save, but if you die, the save is gone. Oh, that's great. So I would have been better off just closing the game. Or quitting. Reticulating spiders. Insinuating paths. Wrangling monsters. Pretty much is like hardcore mode in freaking Minecraft. It's a roguelike, alright. It's a freaking roguelike to the T. To the freaking T. It's a shame, though, because I was actually doing pretty good, I think. 
Go to hell, Maxwell. Nobody gives a crap about you. If you leave, it's saved, so not much to do. Oh, okay. What if it were to suddenly lose focus? Like, uh, what if you alt forward it? Would it save then? I'm not saying I would definitely do that. That I would definitely stoop so low as to do that, but... I mean, if I wanted to... Maybe? It might, but out the save. Okay. Maybe I should experiment with that sometime. The game would continue from the last autosave, right. I think it autosaves once you get to around the middle of the day. Bug. Uh, it might bug out the save. So it might be worse. Or at least not, not any better. And when I say it's a roguelike, it's it's basically a roguelike. I'm I mean that to a fault because basically what a roguelike is is you you kind of hope that you get put in favorable circumstances. The Binding of Isaac is a great example of that. You basically try and try again and hope that circumstances will be better than before. That's basically what this game is. What's with the music? That's some happy music. It's making me very suspicious. I know it saves automatically once you go to different day states. Because it'll say saving in the upper right corner where the clock is. I know that's a thing. Freaking wormhole. I guess if you're in a really bad spot and you really want to go somewhere else and you don't care if your sanity takes a hit, you could jump into one of those wormholes. I actually abused the autosave on the PlayStation Vita whenever I died and closed the game. If the level up screen came, I would be able to load, reload the game. That's interesting. Okay, let's get a pickaxe. No, not that dude. Let's see if I can get anything this time. Wait, I forgot how do you make fire? Okay, I need wood. Okay, so I guess I should give up on grabbing rocks for now. Actually, no, I got some time. I played Twisted Metal for the PSP, but that's it. That's the only one I've actually played. So probably not. Probably not that one specifically. But I have played a, a Twisted Metal game, if that's what you're asking. Close enough? Too bad I can't find any gold around here. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Crap, come on. Give me the axe. I need to chop down some trees. Yeah, Twisted Metal is pretty fun. Vehicular combat is something you don't see that often. Unless it's Grand Theft Auto or something, where that's just a... A part of it. Chop, chop, chop! My sanity was gone a long time ago. I basically turned into Eustace. Chop, 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 chop! There we go. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Don't you just love it when trees simultaneously pop into existence out of nowhere? It's kind of funny. Maybe they'll grow back. Or maybe not. Ah, I guess that's one way you can grab things when they're behind other things. You just... Trial and error will help the player grow. I know that. If you see a butterfly kill it, it's easy source of food. Fair enough. So kill everything! What's that sandwich? Kill them all? Good idea! It's time to kill everything. Kill, kill, kill. Pick the grass. Kill the butterflies. 
Ooh, maybe I'll actually be able to make a fire pit. It's always worth a shot, I think. Okay, come on. Actually, I'm pretty sure I... I'm confident that I won't have enough time. Even if that somehow I'd exactly... Oh, the butterflies heal you. That's good. All you have to do is rip their wings off, coat it in the blood of baby turtles, and then you'll be just fine. Bingo. I can make a fire pit. That's good. I haven't been able to make one yet, so that's really good. Oh, crap. Well, so much for that. Dang. I don't have any twigs either. Because butterflies. Fair enough. I probably shouldn't be sticking around those creatures if I know it's good for me. If you look for more. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's going dark. I better just make the fire pit here. Build the fire pit. Bingo. Now I've actually got a stable... A stable fire source. That's good. Is this fire pit permanent? Can I just add fuel to it whenever I want? Or would I have to make a new one if it runs out? Because that would suck. The fire's getting a bit low. Okay. Let's drop some logs in there. That'd be great if this could just... a uh, beefalo are friendly unless it's mating season. That's when they're crazy. In other words... I don't want to make my my base around them because they will eventually go crazy and probably kill me. That's all I'm hearing. Uh, so it seems that much like in Minecraft, cooking food is a good thing. Oh great, it's raining. Just what I freaking needed. Jackass rain. Mmm. Roasted carrot. At least the fire doesn't seem to immediately go out when it's raining. So that's that's a plus. Dress. Huh, look at that. You can make a straw hat. Helps you stay cool and dry. Well, I've got I've got enough. That's that's pretty interesting. And there's grass all over all over the place here. So this is actually a good spot if you want to get a lot of grass stuff. You know, like fire. And I'm pretty sure the grass grows back, too, from the stubs. You know, unless you set it on fire or something, which I stupidly did. But that's beside the point. That's because beefalo needs an alpha for the mating and basically attack anyone nearby like lions. That's interesting. Yep, have the Minecraft gameplay like... Yeah, see? That time it auto-saved. I'm pretty sure when it does that, that means it auto-saved. Because that's literally what it says it's doing. Let's explore some more. And I need more twigs. Because I need a... I need a pickaxe. I need to mine some stuff. And these enemies need to mind their own business. You see what I did there? Man. Let's start a line. Rain. Sucks. Well, hopefully this hat made me a little bit more resistant to the rain. Or at least to the negative effects of rain. It said helps keep you cool and dry. I think a kangaroo depends on an alpha, actually. Interesting. Very fascinating. Right. The nitrate. Just missing the creepers. Well, apparently the frogs attack everything, so... Aside from the blowing up part, they seem to have that covered. Excellent. I don't know why it's having such happy-go-lucky music, but I'm digging it. I need to quit being so suspicious. Man, it is raining without end, isn't it? I'm guessing being near the fire is how you get rid of wetness. Because it dries you off, obviously. Excellent. Hmm. 
Blood Creepers in the shadows, they are creepy. You've played Minecraft, right? Because I don't think that's the kind of creepy he's talking about. Or creeper, for that matter. Hello, beefalo. Whoa, hey, hey there, buddy. I didn't do nothing to you. How about we agree to leave it to get out of each other's way, huh? wonder what would be more, a more suitable weapon to, for attacking things with. I mean, I would assume it would be the axe, but, you know. Yes, okay, you do know what it is. It's getting late, it will be dark soon. Crap. Although it's funny, because darkness... This intermediary step between light and dark is almost half of it. It's almost half the day. Half the, the timeline. So I guess at least you have plenty of time for to get prepared. You have more time in this intermediary stage. The transitional spot between light and dark than you have with actual light and dark. It's kind of funny. It's almost as much as both of them combined. Except day extends just a little bit. Waterlogged. Oh, great. It's waterlogged. Does that mean I can't start a fire with it? That would really suck. That would suck really bad. I hope that's not the case. Please don't let that be the case. Because if I can't make a fire, I'm screwed. Surely they wouldn't screw you over like that, would they? Would they? Nah, probably not. Oh, look. It shows it. I played the game Zombie, if that's what you're asking. Huh, look, the fire somehow la how la somehow lasted this long. At least, uh, wet wood, wet logs, there's still logs, I guess. I probably shouldn't be adding them now. It's big, it's heavy, and it's wood. The fire's getting a bit low. I don't remember what really blows up on you in this game. I hope it's nothing, because... Being attacked by everything is bad enough. I don't want something that kamikazes you, too. That would really suck. Especially if there are ghosts by some fusion between two kids that blows up on you. That would be the worst. At least it finally stopped raining. Cause I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. It felt so good to be out of the rain. Yeah, sometimes I like making musical references. You got a problem with that? Not everything has to relate to TF2. Like the serious Sam enemies. Oh, uh, don't even remind me of those. It's bad enough they blow up on you, but do they have to scream in your ear too? Ah! Freaking weirdos, man. Take that, nature. Yes. Nature will die. And then I'll get unlucky, and then the the tree guardian will come after me. No, in my luck, it will. At least the fire pits actually seem to last a lot longer, too. Because when I checked up on it later on, all of a sudden, it was still on fire. It still had fuel in it. That actually surprised me. Okay. At least fire pits seem to be permanent. Well, unless they get destroyed or something, but they're semi-permanent. They don't burn themselves out like normal fire does. That would really suck if after 12 stones, they burn themselves out each time. It seems to be a reliable source of fire. Something you can actually make a base around, you know? Maybe if I drop this and leave it near the fire, it'll actually dry up. Although, maybe not. I can always hope. Soggy berries. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Whatever. Soggy roasted carrot. Sure. Whatever floats your boat there, pal. There. At least my hunger is pretty satisfied. Ooh, look. It actually did turn to dry. That's good. Wetness has expired. 
Everything in my inventory is A-OK. -okay. Maybe I should plant some trees. Maybe that'll... Maybe that'll make the, the tree spirits happy. Look, tree spirits, I'm planting trees! I'm not just chopping down trees, I'm actually replacing them too. I'm like a logging corporation. You know, I don't just mindlessly consume the trees, I actually plant them too. That's how you sustain stuff. Because if you just cut down trees, you're eventually going to cut out, you're eventually just going to run out of trees. Besides, trees around might also help me. It provides a natural barrier to some extent. At least I would imagine, right? Excellent. Everything is going much better this time around. I forgot they made a Doom 2 mod of Serious Sam, the BFE enemies. I did play a Serious Sam mod, but I don't know if it was the BFE edition. You know, since I'm currently playing through Serious Sam 3, I should probably just play First Encounter after that. I could play Serious Sam 4, but I hear it's not that good anyway. And besides, if I'm going to play before First Encounter, then the obvious next step is the First Encounter. You see, First Encounter, before First Encounter, and then First Encounter, and then, I don't know, AFE? After First Encounter? Which would probably just be the first one. I don't know. I don't know where they fall in chronological order. When you got prequels all over the place, it, it gets confusing, you know? I should probably pick up some flowers. They refill my sanity, and in a pinch I can eat them. Because that's what a sane person does, they eat flowers. Come back here. You gotta love the... You gotta love the, the almost 50s cartoon theme. I wanna say vintage Disney-esque. It has that style to it. Maybe silent film? It has a silent film quality to it. I like it. Tube animation style. Thanks for protection from the elements, tree. Yes, thank you very much. I get the feeling I'll survive a good amount of time than this one. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, you know, as long as I can keep my hunger up. I'm gonna need to get some food. Light is no longer a problem. I've got that pretty well taken care of. But I gotta make sure that I don't starve to death. That would suck. I hope that's um, safe to eat. Because in, in the real world, you don't want to eat random mushrooms you find on the ground. Even if you do take preparations to it. Sometimes uh, poison is just poison. You know? Freaking rain. I guess that's my unlucky spot this time. Just having freaking rain all over the place. It's raining without fail. Huh, look at that. Examine wet skeleton. Better him than me. Ooh, rope. He left some stuff. Thank you, sir. He would have wanted me to have it, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not like he's using it. Why should he get to selfishly hog it? Just because it was his first. Some people need to survive around here. And my sanity needs to survive too, which means I need to pick up flowers. Thank you for letting me know. What the hell? Oh, I see. Huh. That's uh, fascinating. Yeah, I don't know what I stumbled into over there, but that was, uh, certainly interesting, wasn't it? Uh, tentacles. You know, I know this game came out before Doom Eternal, but for some reason that's reminding me of Doom Eternal. You know? Because tentacles inside purple goo. It's probably based on something similar to Doom Eternal. They probably both took from the same source. Get the hell out of my face, you damn spider. Wanna get chopped up? I'll chop you up, man. Don't think I won't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Do it. Do it. I want to, but I'm pretty sure I'll die. So, for now, you get to live, you stupid. 
stupid spider. You fancy spider. Oh. I've never seen anything so filthy. In all my life. Okay, time to go back to the fire. Ah, oh, okay. Good. It can completely run out and not actually burn itself out. I mean, that's what I figured, but, you know. It's always good to get confirmation, you know? And I can just add fuel to it whenever I want. That's nice. Pick up soggy seeds. Mmm. Seeds. Are they oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. Doom 2 mod of Serious Sam BFE. Enemies, the attack and movements, and yes, Kamikaze yelling. Yeah, like I said, I played a Serious Sam mod. I just don't know if it was based on BFE or not. It might have been. Again, maybe it wasn't. Was it? Is it made to look exactly like the enemies, the style from BFE? Or was it using sprites that look like a very old school kind of game? Because I remember the one that I actually played, it was very old school. It used very low res sprites. It almost looked like if Sirius Sam was built on the Doom Engine, if that makes any sense. Ooh, I found a ring thing. That's nice. Oh crap, I'm starving. I should probably attend to that before I starve to death. That wouldn't be very good for survival, would it? It's a shame you can't roast the seeds or something. Or, you know, roast the mushroom or whatever. Oh crap. I need to book it. Double time it back to that fireplace. Stat. I know I could just make another one. Yeah, looking like very high resolution sprites from in game. Ah, fair enough. So it's probably not the one I played then. Okay, let's add some fuel. Let's survive. Cook. Good. I can at least cook the mushroom. Cooked red cap. Oh. That was a bad idea. So, this does kind of take from real life, doesn't it? The fact that sometimes mushrooms are poison. This is a craptastic game world, isn't it? And I'm not saying that against the game itself, obviously. I wouldn't say that. Just that, in game, it's a craptastic universe. Where you have to. You have to struggle to survive. At least the birds give me seeds. I'm so happy for that. Get out of here, you totem pole. Aku! Get out of here! Where are the seeds? Come on, give me the seeds. Give me the seeds to my salvation. Cook. I can cook them. Nice. You know I can cook something around here. Toasted seeds. Eat them. Ah, excellent. That'll definitely keep me from starving to death. Probably. Come get our new toasty seeds. You probably won't starve to death. Order today. World one. You trying to tempt me, Bal? How about I eat those demons? You want I should eat you? Why don't you come here? Just come a little closer. Huh? Come a little closer and we'll see. And you'll see that I'm a little more hungry than I am scared. That's right, you son of a bitch. You better be wary. As ah, if we go. It's a good thing this is a fire pit and is thus much safer to use. You see, you put a ring of it around the fire and you don't have to worry about you running out of fire because then you can just chop the trees whenever you need more kindling, you know? It's brilliant, right? At least I think it's brilliant. Then again, what do I know? Please give me some seeds. Thank you. You birds are so nice. I probably won't kill you. I mean, not that I could anyway, but you know. I probably won't try to. Stingy bird. Give me the seeds, damn it. I demand tribute. Your king demands tribute. Give the seeds and I might just spare your life. 
I'm glad someone thinks so. Someone appreciates my obvious genius. Also, sorry for the buffering. It would seem as though uh, the connection isn't doing so well. That'll happen sometimes. My sanity's getting a, l a little low. I should probably pick flowers and eat them. I mean, j pick the flowers. Actually, I should probably eat them too. That's not a sanity thing. That's a I'm about to starve to death kind of thing. I would have to be insane not to eat the flowers, right? Right. What are we going to do now, Wilson? Come on, Wilson. What are we going to do, man? I'm guessing you can make your own farm. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Ah, see? It saves again. Way through the day, it does save. So that's good. Let's see, if there's any fuel left in the fire, I can cook this stuff. Good, there is. Thank God. Excellent. Anything you can cook is always better. It seems to restore more of your hunger. It's too bad you can't just make him cook all of it. Oh, well. Ah, that's so much better. Okay. Stomach is full. The trees are coming in nicely. I think I might just survive. For now. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this save. Then again, I, I was starting to have a good feeling about the last save, too, and then I died. Because bird creatures. Don't want to make that mistake again. Let's see if I can find some gold around here. That would be a priority right now. Well, and flowers. Need all the flowers in the world. Hey, beefalo. Hey, buddy. It's getting late. It will be dark soon. Dadgummit. He's gonna pick up crap, is that okay? Huh. What animal track? Left by food, I mean an animal. Lull? I probably shouldn't wander too far. Or I'll die. Then again, I do have a torch. That will that should keep me alive for at least a little while. Give me the flower. Huh. That's pretty cool that the fly the bird looked like it was flying towards the screen. It has a 3D effect going on. I like that. And everything is turning wet, isn't it? Even the freaking wormhole is turning. Oh crap. Damn it. Connection conked out there for a second completely. It went to zero. Sorry about that. It would seem my connection isn't doing so hot right now. Oh, great, it's raining again. Why can't this be like the rain on that one episode of The Simpsons where it's it rains donuts? Why can't it rain donuts? Damn you, Maxwell. Why can't it rain donuts? Someone mentioned that it rains frogs in a nightmare sequence or something, but why can't it rain donuts? I would love if it rained donuts. That would be amazing. I'm just saying, give me donuts. Mmm, donuts. <sighs> I just need some gold. I could use some gold as well. Don't mind me, bees. I'm just uh, getting uncomfortably close to your nest, but don't worry, it's not you that I'm interested in. It's your flowers. Thus, you will not be able to pollinate, and you will probably die of starvation. But, no, it's, it's fine. I'm not trying to hurt you directly. Just indirectly. That probably sounds bad. Oh, well. It's not like they can do anything about it. They can't do anything about it. They're just stupid, stupid bees. They probably don't even know how to enter a spelling bee. You better be, leave it. The kingdom of the bunny men is closed for the season. Oh, you think you're cute, don't you? He th this guy thinks he's adorable, doesn't he? He's not. I mean, he's brilliant, don't get me wrong, but he's not adorable. Precious few are. 
Well, at least I'm hovering around my little forest base. Let's see. Do I have any pine cones? No, I do not. I should fill my pockets. Oh, uh, that's great. Does it, would this serve as fuel? It does. Now I can say I better add some more crap on the, uh, crap to the fire and I'll be literal. That's magical, isn't it? Freaking rain. All right, add the fuel. There we go. That's more like it. Which is good because it's turning to nighttime now. Oh, H2O. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Let's cook. Wait, no. Dang it. I did not mean to do that. He does everything except what I want him to do. He doesn't like to follow instructions. He's like me. He's too much like me. I don't like that. Eat. Eat, your stomach is looking empty. There we go. Huh. You're just a bunch of flo you're just floating eyes, aren't you? You don't exist. Not really. You don't really exist. You're just floating eyes. You're just in my head. Because my sanity is slipping. Yeah, that's it. Nice and comfy. Manure. <laughs> Let's just keep the hunger down. Stave off the hunger. Too bad I can't eat grass. Add wet fuel. Slippery axe. That's just lovely. Man, they actually took the time to make my clothes appear to be permeable. Yeah, probably. They tend to be. That'll happen. Wet rocks, waterlogged nitri. Wet flint, waterlogged log, waterlogged cut grass, waterlogged twig. So if it has anything to do with wood or crap, it's just waterlogged. If it ha if it's a tool of some kind, it'll just be called slippery. That's cute. A hammer. I can make a hammer. Same goes for Left 4 Dead 2, Doom 2 mod, high resolution sprites from the game. Fascinating. Very fascinating indeed. Okay. First order of business. I need to find some freaking gold already. I need some gold! And now that the beard makes him look a little bit more like a prospector, I can now say that. We need some gold! Gold! Unfortunately, I don't know where to find any. Where do I find gold? It seems to be in the the dry, the dry areas, like right here. But I can't find any. Truly sad. I can't even find one nugget of gold. Give me your gold. Give me the gold, man. Give me the gold. I'll kill all your eggs and your little ones if you don't give me some freaking gold already. Dang it. I wasn't able to kill that butterfly. I wasn't fast enough. Take this, butterfly. Take this. I forget, isn't there a hotkey to... I think there's actually a hotkey that you can use to attack with. Oh, force attack, left control. Okay, so I'll try to get it... I'll try to overshoot it and then attack. Or not. This doesn't work like that. Fine, whatever. I'm wasting time chasing after butterflies. I need to go hunting for gold. Give me your seeds, damn you. No fear. Thanks. You live for now. Where's your manners? 
Don't you know the king needs his seed? You don't want to be impolite, do you? Because there are consequences for being impolite, you know. I'm not going crazy. You're going crazy. All of you. All of you are crazy. And as the self-appointed king, I must correct this insanity. That has clearly permeated every moment of this existence. What the hell am I saying? I have no idea. I love how there's a bit of green along the sides there. It makes it look like there's grass where there isn't. Must be some kind of bug. Like, they alpha cut it, but they didn't quite do a good enough job. That's what it looks like, actually. Got their crap everywhere, literally. Hey, buddies. Good to see you, friends. At least until mating season. But for now, for now, you guys seem all right. Until you inevitably betray me like everyone else. Give me the seeds, you bird bastard. Give me the good stuff. I need the good stuff now. That wasn't an option. That wasn't up for negotiation. That was a command, not a request. I demand it. Give yourself up, you damn dirty bird. Oh, he's gonna die. I don't even have to worry about sanity or, or monsters or anything like that. His stomach is about to completely dry up. Okay. If I pick up seeds, at least I'll be sustainable. Maybe. This is how I die. Starvation. Okay, I'll go back to the fireplace real quick. Burn these, toast these seeds, and hopefully everything will be okay. That bird isn't going to drop any seeds. I was foolish to expect any different. Hey, little guy. If you had some food to give, that'd be great. Crap. He really is about to die. Crap, don't die yet, don't die yet, don't die yet. Come on. Okay, come on. Cook. Cook. Eat. Thank God. I live another day. Probably. Or at least another two seconds. Phew. There. He won't die just yet. We live! For now. Maybe. I have no idea how long, though. Hopefully at least through the rest of this live stream. Which is only 12 minutes. Ah, look. They're giving me seeds. Isn't that nice of them? They're so friendly. Thanks, birds. I wonder if when you're... A okay, that's not what I wanted to get. I wonder if the game responds to you getting hungry enough by making seeds more likely to pick up. I mean, for birds to drop. There we go. That's what I wanted. Let's cook them. I should probably do something about my sanity, too. That's slipping, too. I mean, I'm fine. What do you mean I'm crazy? Oh, crap. Damn it. That was bad. Oh, that was a close one, wasn't it? Almost died. All because I let the fire get too low. There we go. That ought to keep us nice and steady for a little while. You're not even real. You're just a bunch of floaty eyeballs. I see right through you. Don't think I don't. I see everywhere. All around me. 
I see everything all around me. You can't get away from me. You can't escape my notice. You must be crazy to try. Even crazier than me. And that's saying something. Even the trees are getting wavy. You trees think you're better than me, don't you? Well, we'll see. We'll see who's better than whom. Once I've killed you all. We'll see who the crazy one is then. <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. Wilson. Where did you go, Wilson? You've betrayed me for the last time, Wilson. You hear me? For the last time! Hello, floating wildebeest. <laughs> yeah. Everything's just fine. Everything's perfectly fine. I'm definitely not about to die or anything. No, I'm perfectly fine. Crap. Sanity and food are both about to hit rock bottom. Damn it. Luckily there was a berry bush over there. Oh crap, he is about to die. Please. Thank you. Oh jeez. I didn't realize I had it that bad. I need to I need to prioritize food right now immediately. Well, I can find both food and sanity easily by going for flowers. There you go. Crap. Okay, eat. 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 And eat. Thank you. Okay, then. I should be okay. Probably. Or probably not. I have no idea. I'm probably going insane, too. To an insane degree. See what I did there? I'm the funniest, aren't I? That ever was. Does that mean winter is gone? What are you talking about? Buddy, I think you're crazy. Ah, crap. They ate it before I could. How dare they? Okay, come on. Pedal, eat the petals and then pick up that again. Damn. No, you don't. Except, yeah, you do. Dang it. They're either not dropping any seeds or they're eating them before I can chase them off. Real damn shame, isn't it? Okay, I need to go back to camp. Wait, no. I wish there I wish you could just right click anywhere and then he'll just drop it where he is, you know? That'd be a lot better. Oh crap. How come I can't go on the map? Okay, the map wasn't working there for a second. I don't know what was going on with that. Made me think I would... Made me think something happened. Okay. There we go. Cook. Immediately. Cook everything. Food is the absolute priority right now. Yes, we might just survive. What the hell? My keyboard isn't working. That's weird. Okay, there we go. For a minute there, the keyboard just wasn't working at all. It was kind of weird. Disheartening, to say the least. Give me those seeds, you damn dirty bird. I mean, uh, thank you for your contribution. Really appreciate it. There we go. Now at least he probably won't starve to death. 
probably. That's a probably, though. A probably isn't a definitely. Just a probably. Hello, crow. I don't know why they say eating crow like it's a bad thing. I mean, if you're hungry enough, why not? Right? What's wrong with eating a little crow? You gotta do what it takes to survive, right? You gotta judge someone who eats crow. I mean, if, they're, if their life depends on it. I'm just saying, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I really am going crazy. Mandrake. That sounds like food to me. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Is that a friendly thing? Is that thing gonna be helpful to me somehow? It seems friendly enough. Oh crap. Come on, hurry up and grab the flowers and get the hell out of here. S okay, man, Drake. Whatever you want, man. Come on. Need to get back to camp before I die. How's everybody? I'm just in a high stakes survival situation, that's all. Thanks for the protection and for the elements, trees. At least I have a hat. Hats are nice. Oh, it's a flower. Good. Good. I'm happy. Apparently that allows me to make something. I know what it'll make. It'll make room in my stomach. That's what it's gonna make. Pretty parasol. No thanks. I just want to be able to eat. Examine Mandrake. Stop following me. Is that does that thing actually do anything? Does the Mandrake actually do anything? Oh look, I found some seeds. Isn't that nice? What are you doing? What does that thing even do? Okay, let's see what happens if I attack it. Okay. It doesn't like that very much. Sorry. I had to. It was you or me. And it sure as hell isn't gonna be me. Uh, my head. What did that do? Is it because uh, my sanity is slipping? Oh, H2O. Oh, okay. At least I can start it up again. What just happened? Did eating that actually knock him out or something? I mean, at least my, my health, my hunger is full, so that's good. I guess I had to take the risk. And my H2O level is full. And my hat is gone. Great. That's just lovely. That's lovely right there. Crap, where's the hat? Oh, it's under clothing. Right. It's coming back to me now. Oh, garland. That's cool. That's nice. Okay, then. I should probably stay by the fireplace because my H2O level is full. I don't know what happens when it gets full, but I don't want to take any chances. I better stay by the fireplace in the hopes that I can get it down. Although, probably not. Provides a small amount of protection, yeah. Okay. There we go. That's nice. There, I'm protected, everything's good, right? Well, not quite, because unfortunately, my time is coming to an end, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching Don't Starve. I'm not sure what I'll do Thursday, but I'll have to come up with something, won't I? 
There's probably plenty of survival horror stuff to choose from. I could even do the full version of Resident Evil 7, since I just recently uploaded a Let's Play of the demo version. That would be interesting. Go for the eyes! Yes. Go for the eyes indeed. I should fill my pockets. Why is the why are the trees dying? That's weird. I don't even know what that was about. Anyway, not sure what I'll be doing Thursday, but I'll be doing something Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, I do videos every day, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see more videos of me going through games just like this, you can always subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you want to keep notified, a like is always appreciated. And that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the feeling insanity that causes me to go crazy. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and give me my seeds, damn it. I mean, see you later.